Hi, in this video I'll show you how to fix a tire if you got a nail in it or some other sharp object. Usually you know for sure that you have a nail in it if one of your four wheels uh, losing pressure all the time and it can be over the period of a few days that uh, it's getting noticeable. I'm going to show you how, how you can do it by yourself and uh, save a lot of money so that you never go to a tire shop with this. Basically you have to dismount the tire and uh, once you do that you need a uh, check the tire and find the actual spot. You will also need uh, one of the sets tire plug kit. Um, I got it in Walmart for like 10 bucks. I always have it in my car. And so the hole is pretty big, you can uh, usually hear it hissing. Sometimes you can see a head of, of the metal object or if it's a nail you'll see the head of the nail. I'm not super lucky. It doesn't have a head so it's harder to get it out. You can also use some water, like if you spill water over the surface of the tire um, you might notice small bubbles where the air is coming out. So I don't know if you can actually see it, it's right there. Usually you can try to uh, use some pliers or you can also use the wire cutter. Also it's uh, pretty convenient when there is, a, there is a head, so you can kind of get under the head. I have to improvise here. Use some pliers or something, I don't know. Okay, got it. So it looks like a piece of metal. I don't know what's this. So, first, you need to uh, use this rasp tool and slide it up and down, clean the side of the hole. Now we need to prepare the plug material. You take this other tool that you have, insert it in the eye of needle here. Like this. Now use some of this rubber cement on the plug material. Now we need to uh, push it inside about two thirds of the length of this uh, plug. And with the rapid motion, pull the needle straight out. Do not twist the needle while pulling out. Like this. And now cut off the excess plug material. So you're good to go. In my experience uh, it's okay to start driving the tire right away. So now you need to inflate the tire uh, to the recommended pressure and uh, you can check for any leaks by applying some water, soapy water and see if there will be any bubbles. But otherwise yeah, this is pretty much it. it takes you 3 minutes of time and saves you a lot of money. So uh, good luck and thanks for watching.